It's a lot more relaxed. Here we go. There's the first person to break the rules. Congratulations. Okay, that's okay. Go. I joke around a lot. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man taba'ahum bi ahsanin ila yawmiddin wa ba'd. So after praising Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, sending his salawat and his salamat, his blessings and his peace upon the last and final messenger, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam wa ba'd. So alhamdulillah ta'ala, I'm very happy to see uh, so many of our young brothers, mashaAllah, joining us today. Before we go on our activity, which I'm sure is the major reason why everyone is here, we do want to go through a little bit of a benefit, right? Because our day should never be empty of the remembrance of Allah Ta'ala, right? So what we are talking about today is on the, on your, on the board, uh, inshallah Ta'ala. And the topic that we're going to talk about is strengthening our Iman. Strengthening our Iman, right? Now raise your hands. Who can tell me what is Iman? Raise your hands. What is Iman? How many people know what Iman is? Go. Faith. Faith, okay. What is Iman? Who else can give me Fadal? It's to believe. It's to believe, okay. So we said faith. It means to believe. Very good. What else? What else can we say about Iman? So Iman, right? Many of us, we probably recognize Iman as if someone says, what is Iman? What is faith? What do you believe in? Right? We will say Al-Iman is that we believe in Allah and we believe in His? Books. In His books, okay. And we believe in and His angels? Yes. The prophets and messengers. Very good. What else? The last day. The last day. Very good. Al-Qadr. Al-Qadr. Very good. Alhamdulillah. So these are the six things that we believe in, right? This is the six, and we believe in Allah, right? We believe in His angels. We believe in His books. We believe uh, in His prophets and His messengers. We believe in the last day. And we believe in the Qadr, right? And Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, this is what Iman is. But I want to make it a little bit easier, right? And I want to give an example, right? And the example I want to give is that when we are hungry, what do we do? Raise your hands, raise your hands. What do we do when we are hungry? What do we do? Say it louder. Okay. Something for the children in the back. What do we do? If you're hungry, what do you do? <laughs> Did you just say we consume big fats? <laughs> okay, so every... Oh, a Big Mac. Okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah, some people when they're hungry, they consume a Big Mac, mashallah. Very good. Okay, so raise your... Everyone together, when you're hungry, you do what? Eat. Eat. Right? Eat. We eat. When you're hungry, you eat. And when you're thirsty, you do what? Drink. You drink. Right? And when we are, okay, and shh. Very good. Um, and when you are sleepy, you do what? Sleep. You sleep. You go to sleep, right? So these are all, when you're hungry, you're going to eat. Okay, eyes up here, everyone. Sit up. Sit up. When we're hungry, we eat. Right? When we're thirsty, we drink. What was rule number one? Sit down, right there. Right? So, this is what we do. When we're hungry, we eat. When we're thirsty, we drink. Right? If we're sleepy, we go to sleep. Iman, when a person has Iman, when a person has faith, like our brother said, right? And he believes in Allah Ta'ala, there's a reaction to that. And that is that it aids us, it pushes us to worship Allah Ta'ala. So this is something good to have. But Iman is not the same, 
right? Mm -hmm. Just like your hunger is not the same, right? Hunger can go, you can become really hungry, or you can just be what? A little hungry, right? You can be really thirsty where you really need something to drink immediately, or your thirst can be at this level where, you know what, I'm starting to get thirsty. And this is how we want to think about Iman, right? And we want to go through an example, because our Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when we hear the Prophet's name, what do we say? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right? We should send the, the peace and blessings of Allah Ta'ala upon, upon the Messenger. So our Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he would teach us, he would teach us using examples. Right? And many of you are in school, when you learn something, you learn using examples. Right? So let's go through an example so that we can understand what Iman is, right? And then how do we strengthen Iman, right? So let's go through an example. So everyone look on the board, right? We see our young brother up there. What's our young brother's name? Nadir. Nadir. That's Nadir up there, mashallah. That's our young brother Nadir, mashallah. And Nadir, Nadir has a desire. Nadir wants to become what? Strong. He wants to become strong, right? Yeah, that's a pretty big bicep, right, up there. And now there's like, listen, I really want to throw a ball real fast and real far, right? So I'm going to commit myself, and I'm going to really work out. And I'm going to make sure that I get real strong, right? So now to get real strong, can he just say, I want to get real strong, and then not do anything? No. no, right? So now raise your hands. If someone wants to get real strong, what are some of the things that they can do back there? Yes. You can go to the gym. You can go to the gym. What else can you do up here? Get some, do pull-ups and sit-ups. Okay, so do pull-ups and do sit-ups. Jibril, what can he do? Work out. He can work out over here. Eat healthy. You can eat healthy over there. <laughs> he can praise Allah Ta'ala. Very good, right? Very good. Yep, back there. Not, not you, Muhammad, back there. What else can he do? Over here, Muhammad? Push up. He can do push-ups. Uh, make dua. He can make dua, very good. What else, over here? Yes? Get on the treadmill. He can get on the treadmill, what else? Lift up weights. Okay, lift up weights, very good. Okay, everyone put your hands down, very good. So everyone knows how a person needs to get strong, right? Now, what if, what are some of the things, set up, set up, set up. What are some of the things that if someone wants, if Nadir here, our brother Nadir here wants to get strong, what are some of the things, raise your hands, that he should not be doing? What should he not be doing? Okay, in the back. Eating too much. Eating too much. Very good. Next to him. What else? Um, he don't do if you want to get strong, uh -huh. he's supposed to be positive, but... But if he, if he do something that he's not doing, yesterday a people said, a person said, he's doing, he want to get strong. Yeah. Uh, but he's not doing it. So if he's not doing the exercises, right, that's not good. Good. Essay answer to a short, very good. In the back, yes. What else? Yeah. Stop eating junk food. Stop eating. So if he continues to eat junk food, okay, everyone, hands down. If he continues to eat junk food, he doesn't work out, right? All of these things are not going to help him meet that goal of becoming strong, right? So there's a relationship, right? So let's take a look at over the next six months, right? And we'll take three months. What is it that our brother Nadir does for the next six months? So in the beginning, what happens? He's... He is committed. He's like, I want to, I'm going to become strong. Whatever happens, I'm going to work. I'm going to become really strong, right? So look, this is what his month is filled with, right? So he's doing some weightlifting, right? He's doing some jump roping. There's a little bench there, so he's, he's lifting some weights. You know, in the afternoon, he's, he's riding his bike. And then look at all the food that he's eating. Look at all the healthy food, right? So he's eating vegetables, he's eating fruits, right? Plant-based foods. So he's doing really good that first month, mashallah. Right, the entire month, this is what his routine looks like. When, when we're looking about becoming, getting strong, right? So, what happens? He gets closer to his goal. He gets much closer to his goal because he worked on it. 
right? He worked on it. He exercised. He ate right. He made sure he was he was riding his bike. He made sure that he was doing things that would strengthen his what? Muscles. Strengthen his muscles and make him stronger, right? And then comes the second month. In the second month, he's still <laughs> exercising, right? But, you know, mom and dad, right? They had that cheesecake in the in, in the refrigerator, and he just he couldn't help himself. Right, Nader? I don't. You don't like cheesecake? What type of cake do you like, Nader? I Nadir? do like cheesecake. Chocolate, chocolate cake. Okay, let's pretend that's a chocolate cake, right? So he finds the cake. Shh. Ends down. Ends down. Right? So he finds the cake. He eats some cake. After he eats the cake, do you think he wants to work out? No. No. So he finds the sofa, and he goes and he rests on the sofa. And then, you know, he's doing a lot more sleeping, he's on his phone a lot, but he still wants to get strong, right? So he's still doing some working out, he's still riding his bike. So what happens the second month? He really doesn't change, right? Because he's done some things that are what? Bad. 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 And some things that are what? Good. Good, Good. right? So that's why his strength never changes. He kind of just remains the same. And then comes the third month, right? And the third month is now, you know, this is two months ago he decided he was gonna he was gonna get strong, right? And now comes the third month. Okay. So afterwards, do we think he's going to get strong or huh? No, right? So let's take a look. So now now Nadir has spent the entire month eating cake, resting on the sofa eating pizza, on his phone, drinking soda, drinking juice, sleeping a lot, right? And playing video games now, right? So what happens this final month? It's way down, right? All right, so now lower your hands. Everyone lower your hands. Lower your hands, right? When we talk about, and everyone listen to this point, right? When we talk about Iman, our religion, right? When we're talking about our relationship to Allah Ta'ala, the one who created us, right? When we're speaking of how we practice our religion, this is the example we have to follow, right? This is the example that we have to follow. So Iman, it goes up with obedience to Allah. And that's the exercise that we need. Obedience to Allah is nourishment for our heart. Right? Meaning that the more... Stand that up. Stand that up. And come here, sit down right here. Very good. Tayyip, that is the nourishment of the heart. Let me get the... Thank you. That's the nourishment to the heart. Right? Obedience to Allah Ta'ala, the more you pray, the more you read Qur'an, the more you do good deeds, help your parents, right, give salams to each other. These are the things that strengthen your religion. But if you begin to do the opposite of that, so instead of listening to Qur'an, you're listening to music, right? Instead of reading, uh, 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 instead of making dhikr of Allah Ta'ala, you're always just playing games, Right? Then what happens if that is your example? What happens? Your iman goes down. Right? Now, if we go back to that first example, right? That first month that Nadir was lifting weights, he's going to the gym, he's riding his bike, he's doing all of that, right? Do you think that lifting weights is becoming easier for him or harder for him? Harder or easier? Easier, right? The more you do something, does it become easier or harder? Easier. Easier, right? This is why when we go when we go to school, right? And you have math in kindergarten and then in first grade and second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth. Math continues to get harder, but it gets easier for you, right? So one plus one in kindergarten may have been hard. In third grade, is it hard? No. No. So the more we practice at doing something, the more we focus on doing something, the easier it becomes. And this is the relationship of our actions, our acts of worship to, the, to our iman. 
many times adults and children. Adults and children. They'll come and they'll say, I'm trying to pray more. I'm trying to pray even more. I'm trying to make sure that I'm reading more Quran, but it's hard. I just, I can't do it, right? I just find too much difficulty in it. It's not easy for me to get out of bed at Fajr time. It's not easy for me to put down the phone and pick up the Quran and read some Quran. These things are not easy for me. And my answer to these children and to these adults is, well, good, because it's not supposed to be easy. Right? In the beginning, it's not supposed to be easy. Allah Ta'ala is testing you. If it was easy, if doing it was easy, then everyone in the dunya would do it. Everyone in the dunya would do it if it was easy. Easy things are done by everyone. It's things that are difficult, right? Is everyone in the world a doctor? No. 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 Is everyone in the world a civil engineer? No. 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 Is everyone in the world a, a, a bioengineer? No. no. I, I don't even know if that's a thing. It is. It is? It is? Okay, just making sure, alhamdulillah. These things, are, are they easy? No. That's why not everyone does it. Our Iman, right, and Jannah, yani the paradise of Allah Ta'ala, is something you have to work towards, right? And this is our, our point for today, right? Allah Ta'ala, wa ta He says in the Qur'an, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Al-Mu'minun, put your hand down. Al-Mu'minun, the believers. Allah Ta'ala in this ayah is saying, who are the believers? Insha'Allah, we want all of us are from amongst the believers, right? We make dua to Allah Ta'ala that we are all from amongst the believers. Allah Ta'ala describes them. He says, إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Right? When Allah is mentioned in front of them, right? The believers are those that when Allah is mentioned, they feel a fear in their hearts. Put your hand down. Right? They feel, they feel a fear in their hearts. And we have to stop a moment. I don't, no hand should go up. This is a personal question for every single one of us, the young and the old. Right? The children and the parents. That we need to ask ourselves throughout the day, when we're sitting down and Allah is mentioned, either in the salah, or we're reading Quran, or in our homes, Allah is mentioned. We need to ask ourselves, what does my heart feel at that time? Right? Because the reality is, that we all belong to Allah. All of us belong to Allah. Everything about us belongs to Allah. Everything that we think belongs to us, truly belongs to Allah. And if that was the case, right? If that was the case and we truly, truly thought about this and pondered over this, there should be an effect of this upon our hearts. Right? So, to pray and to little by little work yourself to the point of obeying Allah Ta'ala more and more and more. This is what our day should look like. So don't be put off when, when you know what, reading the Qur'an is not easy. Or praying is not easy. Right? Because these things are difficult. And all of those other things are listening to music, the sleeping long hours without getting up to pray, right? Those things are easy. Those things are easy. But if we want a reward, if we want a reward of Allah Ta'ala, if we want to achieve what we want to achieve at the end of the day, we need to work towards that, right? So, I want to end with this hadith. It's on the authority of Abu Dhar, Jundub ibn Junada, وأبي عبد الرحمن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى عنهما عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اتق الله هيثما كنت وأتبع السيئة الحسنة تمحوها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن 
This is the last hadith that we want to go through. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Nadir, since you were on our screen, read that, but read it really loud. Really loud. The of Allah. Uh, this Nadir, not that Nadir. Fadda. This one. Nadir, this one here. The Messenger of Allah. Louder. The Messenger of Allah. Louder. The messenger of you keep Allah. saying it at the same rate. <laughs> okay, let's try that Nadir. Follow up a misdeed with a good deed. They all erase it. And deal with the people with good manners. Okay, so this is our last benefit. And really what I want to focus on, fear Allah wherever you are, right? So wherever you are, however old you are, you need to fear Allah Ta'ala. Okay? But this one is what I follow up a misdeed with a good deed. Follow up a misdeed with a good deed. Yani, if you are... Sit down. Sit down. If you make a mistake, like you eat that cake, right? When you're trying to work out. You eat that piece of cake when you're trying to work out, right? What should you do? You should follow it up with a good deed. So if you make a mistake, you're trying to work out, you're trying to get stronger, and you eat that cake, right? Then you got to make sure you do a longer bike ride that day, right? You got to make sure that you work out even harder that day. Why? Because you did something that did not aid you in your goal. It didn't help you, right? So throughout your day, when you notice something, that you've done something wrong, right? You don't need to go to anybody. You don't need to openly tell anyone. But you need to say to Allah Ta'ala, Ya Allah, I made a mistake. Forgive me. And you should read Quran at that time. You should make dhikr of Allah Ta'ala at that time. And that's what's going to help you make the acts of worship, the salah, the reading of the Quran, the dhikr of Allah Ta'ala. That's what's going to help you make that easier for you throughout your life, inshaAllah Ta'ala. So we're going to stop here bi-ibnillah and inshallah ta'ala we are going to uh, head out for our activity, okay? Everyone, uh, 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 everyone is going to listen to my words first so that um, uh, we don't have any confusion, inshallah. If you have come from Washington, D.C., you will be going in the same cars that you came in, Okay? So you know who your driver was, who the brother was that you came with, not your driver, I didn't mean it like that, ikhwan, right? You know who you came with, alhamdulillah ta'ala, that's who you're going to go with. If you are from, if you were here at Masjid al-Hidayah, you are going to stay here until you are assigned a car, inshallah ta'ala. Okay? Everyone understand? Yes. Okay. I am, okay? So go ahead, everyone. Get with your drivers. If you are from here, inshallah, move. Up, come up here so we can assign your. We can assign you. Yes, you can take that. We can assign you your.